we're here at ASCO 2013 with Dr. Nicholas Vogelzang, one of the investigators on the LSIMCA trial. Data from that trial presented last year was instrumental in the recent approval of radium-223. So Dr. Vogelzang, at this year's meeting, there's going to be some new data presented. Yes, there Let's are. Let's talk a little bit about that. All right, so the, the trial, as you know, was uh, powered at 900 patient trial, 900 plus patient trial. Uh, randomized two to one to compare uh, the radium-223, now has a brand name called Zofigo, uh, compared to standard of care. Doctors were not allowed to give chemotherapy, but other than that, they could do whatever they wished. Um, and that showed a pretty impressive survival advantage for the drug. It also showed that there was reduced bone pain and reduced need for radiation. We've now begun to sub-analyze this large 900 patient trial. As a result, we've seen things like we've analyzed the quality of life. Quality of life is definitely improved in the drug, with the drug. Uh, reduction in need for radiation, which goes along with the quality of life. Reduction in the need for morphine or opioid drugs goes along with that. Uh, a, one of the side effects of the drugs uh, or the drug was slightly, uh, slightly lowering of the blood counts, uh, but it turns out that most of that can be attributed to the use of chemotherapy. Um, although there is a small amount of white blood cell, red blood cell, and platelet reduction, it's very small. And it led the FDA to say, this drug is a trifecta. It improves pain, it improves quality of life, and it is uh, very easy on the patients. So all of those ancillary studies from this year's ASCO are now uh, in the approval label. And we have a drug that now is ready for prime time. And mm. what other interesting research are you seeing at this year's ASCO that's really pertinent for patients with uh, castration-resistant prostate cancer? Well, the things that are looking good are somewhat modest in comparison to the blockbusters that we've had over the last few yeah. years. I mean, we've had some real blockbusters. We've had uh, LT or Provenge. We've had abiraterone or Zytiga. We've had enzalutamide plus, or now called Extandi. And now we, on, on top of that, we get radium-223 or Zofigo. So we are, we're very blessed in this world of prostate cancer. Unfortunately, we're still not curing these patients. And by the time they get down the road, they're still in trouble. But nothing yet is advanced. Now, what do we have? Well, we have some of these new antibodies uh, that are looking promising. They were reported this morning. There were two of them reported this morning um, that look like they can cause the tumor to shrink. How much, how long, still to be seen. We still have that drug that got FDA approved earlier this year for thyroid cancer called cabozantinib. I don't even know its name, but anyway, it's called cabozantinib. And it's a, uh, a, a reasonably good drug for prostate cancer. And on the horizon, we have some new immune therapies, and we have some other drugs called, one drug called tasquinamode that may come through as another way to uh, fight the cancer. So the pipeline is deep, and uh, there's some uh, ongoing research now. How do you put these all together, right? Mm -hmm. When you have five, seven, eight drugs, what do you put when, to whom, how often? What are the side effects when you put them together? So that's where the next sort of generation of drug is looking at. We're also trying to figure out things that predict for benefit, um, like uh, we, we are trying, the, the, the poster by Dr. Parker on radium-223 is gonna say who's likely to get trouble with their white blood cell count. And it, like I just told you, mm -hmm. it's mostly people who had prior chemotherapy. Um, so there's, there's good, good stuff, but it's not the home runs that we saw the last few years. So some incremental mm -hmm. advances and uh, moving yeah. in the right direction. Moving in the right direction. I like the way it's going. Thank you very much, Dr. Vogelsang. You're welcome. Thank you.